Good day everyone. Today we will be demonstrating the properties of fresh and hardened concrete. Here we observe our mixing drum and the addition of uh, coarse aggregates for mix 1 with a water to cement ratio of 0 0.4. The addition of cement followed by our fine aggregates addition of water and we mix until a homogeneous mix is achieved with such a low water to cement ratio it is expected that uh, a low slump value would be recorded as we can see from our slump test. Our slump cone is used to measure our slump value, which gives an indication of the workability of the concrete. It is done in three layers, and as we observe, our first layer has been added into our slump cone. This layer will be tamped 25 times in a circular motion. addition of our second layer which would also be tamped 25 times we ensure for our second layer that our tamping rod has penetrated the previous layer to allow for bonding addition of our final layer ensuring that the previous layer is also penetrated to allow for proper bonding of each layer remove all excess from the top of the slum cone Fill any depressions when necessary. We use our hands and press down on our handles, clean our, around our work area and pull vertically upwards. Here we can see mix 1 achieved a zero slump due to the low water to cement ratio. On to mix 2 with all our ingredients within the drum coarse fines and cement and now the addition of water mix 2 has a water to cement ratio of 0 0.5 and from visual inspection we can observe that uh, mix 2 has a greater workability than mix 1 which can be demonstrated from the slump test. Each layer is stamped 25 times, ensuring that the previous layer is penetrated to allow for proper bonding. On to the second layer. Twenty-five times.
and finally the last layer twenty five times ensuring that the layer two is penetrated. Removing of all excess from the top of the slump. Smoothing the top of the slump cone. Pressing down on the handles and pull it vertically upwards here we can observe that the uh, mix 2 produced a greater slump as compared to mix 1 due to the increase in water content measuring the slump value to the center of the slump which gave approximately 50 millimeter. Mix three with a water to cement ratio of 0 0.6. Addition of a water. And we can observe uh, the, that mix 3 has the greatest workability as compared to the other two mixes. Removing the excess from on top of the slump. Smoothening the top of the slump. Pressing ver vertically on the handles and pulling upwards. Measuring the value of the slump to the center of the sample. And recording all values. Mix 2 concrete is being added to a smaller mixer to demonstrate the use of a uh, add mixture, particularly super plasticizer, which is used to increase the workability of concrete without affecting concrete strength. SP430 is our super plasticizing admixture. Recall that the uh, mix 2 gave a slump value of around 50 millimeters. Addition of SP within our mix. And as we observe, there is an increase in our workability. Here must be taken that uh, the SP is used according to its specification as the, an overdosage can cause segregation within our concrete. These specimens, cubes and cylinders are being oiled to prevent any concrete from sticking to our molds. 
density bucket width now on to the filling of the concrete the samples Observe also that our density bucket is being used to measure our concrete density. Here we can see our vibration of our concrete specimens. Vibration is used to eliminate all air pockets within our concrete matrix. This is necessary to achieve our design strength and to allow for proper bonding between our aggregates and cement piece. Care must be taken that the sample is not over vibrated where segregation can occur where our large particles will settle to the bottom of the specimen and our fines will move to the top. We make good to our samples. Observe our air bubbles on top of our specimens. Density bucket weight. Curing of our concrete specimens in our water bath for 28 days to allow for the gain in concrete strength. After 28 days, we take our dry weight of our samples. For both concrete cubes and cylinders, following this, we move on to our concrete testing to determine compressive strength. Observe our 100 mm cube being subjected to compression testing. Observe our maximum load and maximum strength of our concrete specimen as well as our failure modes. This machine is also a compression testing machine. Here we can observe our large cylinder being subjected to compression testing. There's a continuous increase in load as we can see from our gauges. The load continue, continues to increase until the maximum load that the sample can withstand has reached. We record this maximum load to determine our compression strength, where our compressive strength is force over area. 
observable failure modes of our concrete cube, aggregate failure, as well as bond failure. This brings me to the end of our presentation. We thank you for your time.